So in today's Hoagie How To Clinic, we're going to show the steps for jigging nearshore artificial reefs for grouper, snapper, and a variety of other reef species that live out here on these shallow reefs. Today we're off Sanibel, Florida in about 40 feet of water. It's late February and we've just been kind of doing a little cruise looking for some life up on top. As a plan B, we're going to stop on one of these public numbers. This is a, a number that you can find online or even on your GPS. It's an area of some broken bridge rubble and some culverts. Um, it does get a lot of public attention, but you can come out here and not have to worry about having a ton of live bait and using Hoagie's metals like the heavy minnow jig, the epoxy jig, or the peanut bunker jigs, you can fish this shallow water bottom with light tackle. This would be similar to your inshore snook or redfish. Uh, it's a six and a half foot medium heavy spinning rod, Shimano Stratic 2500 with some 20 pound braid, and I just have some 20 pound fluoro on here. This is a fun way just to get out. You see all these numbers on your machine and you're wondering what you could catch out here. Oh, well, just a handful of metals, you can come out. You want to make sure you have some light leader. And we'll just work in over structure here. I just use this up and down jigging motion. It's not very aggressive. What I'm doing is letting the jig pop up and then fall down, just moving the rod about a foot and a half up and then feeling it as it flutters down on the fall. It's a lot of fun doing this on light tackle. As you let the jig drop, you're going to feel a lot of these different smaller reef species come up and kind of nick at it but eventually you're going to have one of the larger snapper or porgies or triggerfish come up and take a grab at it just like that. A lot of fun on light tackle. You know these reef systems are all over Florida. And here this is our first grouper um, certainly below the keeping limit but a nice way to go ahead and, and hook up on some fish out here just on a public number as we're cruising around. So you can see here we've got the heavy minnow jig. This is the silver side pattern and uh, this is the two ounce weight. So we're in 40 feet of water. You can even go lighter down to an ounce and a quarter, but that two ounce we're off of a full moon and there's a lot of current. So that helps us maintain contact with the bottom, feel that flutter and perfect for these light tackle setups. So we're gonna show the steps about approaching this artificial reef structure. Right here in 41 feet of water, we're offshore Sanibel, Florida. And right now you can see we don't have much on the bottom machine, but we're coming really close to an area of structure. So we're gonna keep an eye on this. I have my sonar zoomed in towards the bottom. So that's actually magnifying the bottom, you know, 20, 30 feet. It's gonna give me an idea uh, about what the structure detail looks like. And it's gonna show me more of how the fish are relating to the structure. As you see here, we're coming up towards the structure we're starting to notice some bait moving in. We know we're getting to the right area. We've got some waypoints right up here. And now we're getting into some nice dense structure. I can zoom up here so we can see. We're over some hard bottom. And we've got fish relating. These are the snapper and grouper that we're trying to target. They're above the structure and these larger marks right here. It's very important to utilize your sonar when you're out here in these artificial reef areas. It may be public numbers, but you are gonna need to hone in on specific structure to have success. So you notice we just drifted out of the fish and we're back into barren bottom. It's a real sandy area and that bit of bridge rubble and culverts is what the fish are holding on and they're going to be very tight to it. So it's very important to utilize your electronics, pinpoint the structure and whether you're trying to anchor, power drift, or in our case we're using the Minn Kota to spot lock with the trolling motor over the structure, keying in on specific areas is going to be your key for success. We've got a lot of customers that load up on these jigs and they're able to catch, you know, Spanish mackerel, small tuna, bonita, lots of snappers and groupers. Right here we got a trigger fish, so definitely a uh, variety of species that you can catch on that jig. We're not having to rebate the hook or anything. It's a pretty looking fish right there. We've got some real nasty, uh, teeth on their front, but um, good eating fish. We're letting everything go today. You can see his mouth cracking right there. He's definitely a muncher. Now, a lot of times when you get vertical under the boat, you don't want to fish it for too long, but you may have fish that are following it in. And you can pick up a bite before you go out for your next cast. That's a bigger mangrove right there. It's a beautiful fish. You know, he may be getting close to keeper, but they're not huge. Um, 
but it's a lot of fun and we're enjoying just today messing around and this is a great you know great way to come out catch a few fish on these reefs that are public numbers so it's not a big secret and you're not having to worry about bringing chum or shrimp or squid or getting your hands all dirty and the boat all dirty but uh pretty pretty mangrove right there they'd make a good sandwich but today they're going free and that's just about as simple as it is so that's going to kind of conclude the how-to clinic on fishing these shallow near shore reefs um, you can impart these techniques you know anywhere all the way up the atlantic coast they're good for rockfish on the west coast here we're 40 feet of water off sanibel florida jigging for snapper and grouper uh, but you want to make sure you use light tackle use the appropriate outfit and keep that leader very light and you're going to have success and hook up on some fish and have fun mm -hmm.